how to find the surface area of a regular prism. All right, the first step is to find the dimensions of all of the sides. Okay, you're gonna have to find the length, width, and height. Okay, in this problem, we're given the length is four, the height is seven, and the width is three. Okay. Now, as you'll notice, at the top, I put the general equation of finding the surface area of a regular prism. There's multiple ways to do it, but I think this is one of the easier ways to do it. Uh, if you notice, when you look at these equations, you'll see that there's 2 times something, 2 times something, 2 times something. Uh, that's basically because you um, there's 6 total sides, and there's always going to be 2 copies of 1. So I'll explain that. So 2 times the length times the width. So this is the length, this is the width here. So that's like this. So length times width would be this face here, and you have two, because you have one on the top, and then you have one on the bottom. Okay, so that's where this two comes in. So it's two times, and then four times three. So two times the area of this. Okay, and then the length times the height. So that's going to be this times this. So that happens to be this front face here, this back space here, the back face over here. So that's four times seven times two, because we have two. And then the 3 times 7 is this 3 times 7, so it's these side faces here, okay? Alright, I hope I didn't confuse you there. So now I have the 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 7 is 28, 3 times 7 is 21. Okay? Then we need to add those up. Alright, 24 plus 56 plus 42, and that gives me 122. And lastly, we need to write the units, which is inches squared. Remember, it's squared because this is a surface area. An area, you always have squared units. And that completes our problem.